Russia says it has built a missile that can potentially fly for days. Sounds like science fiction. It's not. 9M730 Burevestnik is a ground-launched cruise missile. Burevestnik means storm petrel, the small seabird known for appearing over the ocean just before or during storms. What makes the Burevestnik special? Instead of a conventional rocket engine, the missile has a nuclear propulsion system, giving it almost unlimited range. At least, that's what Moscow claims. The Russian army said the missile flew 14,000 kilometers for roughly 15 hours in the latest test and could defeat any missile defenses. It gives a different kind of nuclear strike option in the sense of it, it theoretically could approach, for example, the United States from Russia from relatively unusual directions because of the, the fact that it doesn't have to take an efficient route to the target. It can continue to fly for a long time, but it doesn't alter the fact that Russia could already destroy those targets anywhere on Earth. Could Budavestnik soon be put into service, for example, in Ukraine? No, says Justin Bronk. He argues that Moscow boasting about test results would merely be a move to threaten NATO and increase media coverage. Quite a bit of support for Russia um, in significant parts of uh, Africa and Latin America and some parts of Southeast Asia. They would lose all of that immediately if they, if they used nuclear weapons first against a non-nuclear armed adversary like Ukraine. And so the Burvestic doesn't change any of that. And what does it mean for the US, NATO and global arms control? It doesn't fundamentally change the political calculations of any country that is looking at the Russian nuclear arsenal. Ultimately, Russia could still um, you know, destroy the United States, any other country on Earth, and probably with it, the, the world as we know it. But of course, that's what the United States has a nuclear arsenal for, and so do countries like the UK and France. I don't think there's anything that hugely changes this.